Welcome to the Navy's Newscast for Thursday, December 14, 2023. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, says he looks forward to seeing more women in Nevis exploring job opportunities in the blue economy. He was at the time making remarks at a workshop for women in the fisheries sector in Nevis, hosted by the Department of Marine Resources in St. Kitts and Nevis, in collaboration with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. The December 7th workshop was a part of the Gender Mainstreaming in JICA Coast Fish project. I am part of an administration that believes in empowering everyone. We have sought to empower men, we have sought to empower youth, we have sought to empower women. And so I am happy that the Department of Marine Resources and JICA have seen it fit to put this um, initiative together. There are a lot of opportunities out there in the blue economy and women should be able to take advantage of those opportunities as well. When I travel on the boats, the ferries, whether from Charlestown or from Owali, I see women working on the ferries. And so it is um, very apparent that women are actually already involved in the blue economy and can get more involved. I believe and I know that the Department of Marine Resources in both St. Kitts and Nevis will be very willing, very able to support any women who want to venture into marine resources and into fishing per se. Mr. Evelyn noted that the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries in Nevis endorses and supports the initiative. And so I would encourage the women who are here, even if you may not be interested, you may know other persons who are interested, Give them a little nudge, give them a little encouragement, have them speak to the, um, Mr. Maynard or any other member of the marine resources in both St. Kitts and Nevis, and they will provide the necessary encouragement and expertise and training, of course, that is necessary for you to become very proficient in marine resources. So once again, I want to really um, commend marine resources and JICA, of course. We want to say thank you very much for the support. JICA has been with marine resources in St. Kitts and Nevis for many, many years. And we want to say a hearty thank you to the representative who is here. We want you to take back our best wishes and gratitude to JICA. We thank you very much for the support and the partnership. We look forward to, for the continued support and partnership of JICA. And once again, I want to wish this initiative the very best. And I look forward to seeing more women venturing out into the deep. The Honorable Eric Evelyn, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries in the Nevis Island Administration. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, on Wednesday, December 13th, announced a number of initiatives which are expected to benefit the citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis. We are going to give the GAE workers their pension, Madam Speaker. Thirdly, we are going to give the civil servants, on top of that, a bonus. Instead of getting one salary, they'll get one and a half salary and an 8% increase for longevity, Madam Speaker. Then our workers are going to get an increase in minimum wage from $360 to $430 per week, Madam Speaker. And then... And then, later in 2025, up to $500 per week. Number six. That's, number six, Madam Speaker, is that we will not leave our young people behind. That each of our young persons between the ages of 5 to 18, or I would dare say from 5 to 18, will receive an account of one thousand dollars and in addition to that part of that will be used to buy shares madam speaker and they will be given the necessary financial education madam speaker in addition to that at social security the poorest of the poor will see an increase in their amounts the minimum amount for those who qualify used to be $430, will now increase to $500. For those 
who used to be $255 will now go up to $255 will now go up to $350. And Madam Speaker, in terms of the funeral contribution, it will go from $2,500 to $3,500. Prime Minister Drew was delivering his 2024 budget address with the theme, Marching Forward on the Journey to a Sustainable Island State. Still to come, Prime Minister announces financial education and a savings program for youth in St. Kitts and the Nevis. The details after this break. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew has announced what he describes as a groundbreaking initiative designed to revolutionize the financial landscape of the Federation's youth. The Financial Education and the Savings Program will be launched in 2024. Every young citizen in St. Kitts and in Nevis, because Nevis must never be left behind, Madam Speaker. The old argument are the old argument of the past. I'm interested in them. Every young citizen, <laughs> age 5 to 18, Madam Speaker, will be endowed with a savings account initially funded with EC $1,000, Madam Speaker. The committee is putting forward a number of things where about $500 of this money will be used to buy shares in companies, Madam Speaker. The initiative also aims to instill financial responsibility and investment knowledge. In collaboration with the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, and I want to thank the ECCB and other stakeholders, our government will spearhead a comprehensive financial education and saving program for our people, our young people, in both St. Kitts and Nevis, covering crucial topics like budgeting, saving, investing, entrepreneurship, and understanding financial markets. This program will empower our youth and the knowledge needed to navigate the complexities of the financial world. Prime Minister Drew made the announcement during his 2024 budget address on December 13th with the theme, Marching Forward on the Journey to a Sustainable Island State. Friday, December 15th and Saturday, December 16th will be discounted value-added tax VAT rate days in St. Kitts and in Nevis. This will allow approved VAT registered businesses to provide their customers with a reduced VAT rate of 5% on eligible goods. This offer is exclusively applicable to tangible items that can be immediately issued or delivered during the discounted VAT rate days. VAT will be exempt on the first $50,000 of vehicle costs, except in cases where a duty-free concession applies. 17% VAT will be applicable on the amount in excess of $50,000. Items including guns, ammunition, cigarettes, and alcoholic beverages are excluded from this promotion. Wine, brandy, vodka, whiskey, gin, Rum, liqueurs, beer, Guinness, Royal Stout, Carib, and Smirnoff Ice will not be eligible for the reduced VAT rate. Meantime, the Consumer Affairs Department is urging businesses to practice fair pricing and uphold ethical standards during the discounted VAT rate days. In accordance with Consumer Affairs Protection Laws, prices should be displayed or affixed to all items for sale. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.